<laughs> Boo, bitches. Hi. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Look at my fucking hair. Oh well, karma's a bitch. Hello, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome. You're a cookie, and I love you. Yeah. Other than that, welcome, gentle roaches, lady pussies, and nine binary. So Halsey finally dropped her fourth fourth studio album. If I can't have love, I want. Power. Same. So it has 13 tracks. Which ones have I heard? And I don't think I've heard anything. I don't think I've heard. I haven't heard anything. That's very weird. The first track of this album is the tradition. Wait! Yeah, so the first track of this album is the tradition. was beautiful. What? I couldn't hear a word she was saying though. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> no, you're not gonna cry. Halsey! You just begun. Why the fuck are you making me chuck? You're not gonna make me cry. You're not gonna get the tears out of me. You're not gonna do it. No. So take what you want, take what you can. Goodness, I can't listen to this. I'm on a chair and my dick is literally vibrating. Lock that bitch up. That isn't, I can't do that. Like the bass is so strong. Like, I, like, like my body is vibrating. That is so, that was a weird feeling. I felt like Halsey was invading me. And I remember thinking, I'm about to be. I love this. I really, really love this. I love the production of this track so much. And that's the thing, because I knew we were going to get like, you know, a punk kind of rock version of Halsey. And I think that's my favorite kind of Halsey. So I was kind of like, oh, okay. You'll bring it to me. I have to say, I fell in love with this track instantly. It was an instant love. I'm adding this to my favorites. But Halsey. You have to ask for permission. We're in a time where people don't ask for permission. So I don't think taking what you want in certain, certain occurrences, you know, is, is, is right completely. Like, I feel like ask for permission in certain instances. So like, um, if someone says no, they say no. But I'm sure that's not what Halsey meant. I'm just saying this could be perceived differently and used differently. Who the fuck is this bro? We're moving on to the second track of his album, Bells in Santa Fe. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they- Oh, Halsey, I do not like you right now. Oh, why is it so good? This is the one she used in the, the trailer for the for, 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 for the movie thing. And I cannot explain to you how obsessed I was. I was like, I want this song. I think it transitions to the next song. That's so annoying. How could she end like that? So, oh, I like this song production wise. Lyrically, um, how's he? Uh, you do a little freaky things, and I'm all for the freaknicks. I have no problem with the freaknicks, uh, but I don't know how the Christians are going to take this. I know they're going to be shaming this bitch on Twitter. The tail is going to be having this bitch. They're going to eat her for fun. Um, I don't know how to feel about the second verse, honestly, I generally didn't even know what she was talking about. I was very confused about that. 
Um, generally what I got from the song lyrically is that everything is temporary and that can fix into anything. For me, what, what like, sunken was kind of just like certain relationships and stuff are temporary, not everything is gonna last or stay beautiful forever, which is something that, you know, I have to learn. Doing <laughs> the track of this album, which is easier than lying. No. No. What is that? What was that sound? I be light? Yes. I just need to, I need to like, I need like a break to like, collect myself. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You can all suck it! No, I know what House is trying to do. So, Housey, please, please try to explain to me. Try to explain to me how you think you can fucking do that. Who? Should I? I'm gonna like put it behind, right? Like that's not more like. I'm gonna put it like up here. Who the fuck do you think you are to make? <laughs> not only did you make a rock song, which you know, as you guys know, I'm a fucking fan of that, you decided to go and attack me emotionally as well. I'm prepared. I thought we were having a chill, mellow album. Apparently not. I need to tie my hair up. I have never felt like my head was about to explode before. Like I was like, my head is gonna explode any fucking time soon. And quite frankly, I was like, let it explode. I don't give a shit. I love this track so much. The beginning, I was like, oh, okay, like I'm gonna say a little bit of rock, but I don't know about that. Then the chorus came. And I just lost myself. <sighs> See, I fear to say album of the year. I fear to say it, but it might be album of the year. I fear, I fear to say it. I will say that she's a little low on tone, so I can't always hear what she's trying to say. Half the time I'm like, wait, what are you saying? And then I kind of have to like put myself closer and I'm like, oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, the internet's not working. It's down. Okay. Well, fuck you. First of all, yes. You're fucking flowers. You're fucking flowers. Wow. You lie, you don't love me too. It's easy for you after all. Yeah, um, I relate a little too heavily to this. Ugh. If I didn't know what the lyrics are saying, girl. <sighs> Bitch. I did not need you to... Why is, why is everyone doing this? I, is, I barely... Like, I barely fucking escaped Lord the last week. And now Halsey wants to come in and bring love into the equation. Like, it's not right. It's not funny. It's a sick joke and it's not fucking funny. Y'all are laughing, but I'm not. I'm not laughing with you. That's so weird that I like every song. I'm adding this to my favorite. That's so weird. Like, there's not one song I'm like, mm. We're moving on to the fourth song of this album, which is Lilith. What did Lilith do? Do we hate Lilith? Do we like Lilith? Do we want to be Lilith? this program to bring you a special report hi so I I really cannot find my old the other glasses that I use when I cry I should have worn those for the solar power I forgot about that so I found these <laughs> see how they like I know they, they, they yeah they're not the other glasses but it's like I'm sorry it's what we're gonna have to go with cover up when I'm gonna cry because that seems to be what's about to happen with this song, or this album. Oh, her voice. Weirdly, I don't remember much about the song. It's just kind of, I'm like, da, da, da. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's not memorable. I'm just kind of like, 
I can remember how I felt throughout the others. With this one, all I remember is I wanted to cry. I like the lyrics. I like aspects of the production. I just think and the verses are gonna do that. Wait, so why is it called Lilith, bitch? Is that her name or something? Can somebody tell me what Lilith is in the comment section? Because I have no idea who this is. I have no idea who this woman is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know a thing. And I keep falling in love, but this measuring cup is. <laughs> oh no, you're not. Why am I tearing? That's so fucking weird. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Fuck you, how's he? It's just a, just like a 50-50 for me. I will add it to my favorites because I do like the lyrical message because a sad bitch can relate. So I will be adding this to my favorites. So we're moving on to sixth track of his album, which is You Asked For This. What? I won't even comment on that because <laughs> I mean At the right time Don't be coming here judging and being like what the fuck like at the right time in the right moment I can understand what she's talking about <laughs> Wow, I love that she does not care and just puts it out there the outro very much. I love the outro so it just, it took some time for me, I was kind of just like, oh, like, you know, floating with it, but I wasn't really like there, there, but like it took time, it took, I feel like this was kind of the track that's gonna have to like grow on me, this track is gonna have to grow on me, yeah, but I like the production, the lyrics are super, <laughs> not graphic really, I've seen and heard worse, I don't know what I'm talking about, they're okay, they're pretty like kindergarten. Moving on the seventh song of this album, which is Darling. Yeah, I can't remember where I left my spot. Ah, uh, guitar. You know what that does to me and this channel. I say it all the time. Too late for that, bitch. <laughs> Too fucking late. I'm not gonna see you bitches let me cry, see me cry again. Not this time. Last time was acceptable because I even forgot I had these glasses. I'm all. Why? Why did that have to fucking hurt the way you did? I don't know why that hard. I just. I think it just unlocked a lot of emotions. That's, oh, fuck, I'm gonna crack. Oh, no, go back. Um. I'm adding this to my favorites. Oh! <clears throat> I'm adding this to my favorites. So we went to the eighth song of this album, which is one one two one. This was in the trailer, right? What is with Halsey and these fucking bodies? Halsey, um, I'm literally petrified for what is in your basement. Because why do you have so many bodies? Why do you constantly talk about murder in your songs? It's very worrying. I like if you need to talk. I'm probably not the best person for that. I I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. I'm gonna cry again. Oh fucking! Now see if I didn't have his glasses, I'll be a fuck. Um, I am adding this to my favorite. I her vocals are very beautiful and track, To be honest with you, every time it kept like you know getting intense and intense and intense, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. The ninth track of this album is Honey. I know I look like a fucking shithole. Uh, I don't trust Halsey enough to not. Well, that's in my nose. I don't trust Halsey enough to not have my glasses close to me anymore. I don't trust you enough. Hey, uh, finally, uh, yes. She's mine, so 
Halsey likes the feisty ones. They're careful. Why she doesn't care? They stink, so she enjoys that. Uh, so this track is definitely just about Halsey exploring her sexuality basically for women. Basically, and just like, you know, saying that. Um, I don't know how to feel about this, honestly. The lyrics are great because they are um, <clears throat> relatable when you like someone who you know is, you know, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to explain this to you all. I, I don't even know how to explain this to you all. It's gonna need more time for me. It's gonna need more time for me. It's gonna need more time for me. I can see a lot of people liking Honey and being like, oh my God, oh, how could you fucking not? I'm sorry. I don't hate it. I just feel like um, as the production continues, it's kind of um, like I've kind of heard this. It's kind of like a similar sound throughout the whole album. It's like, oh, I've heard this before. Not similar to similar songs, but similar in like terms of production. I was like, I've heard this before. Onto our tenth track of the album, Whispers. Why you're so I'm not gonna say anything. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. This, this song, this song is close to um, Santa Fe. I forgot the title. Well, <laughs> um. It's so brutal because I can like literally relate to like every lyric that she's saying and that's so fucked up in its own way, but it's like, yeah, um, I don't need therapy. I have, if I can't find, if I don't have love, I want power. I don't need therapy. Oh, that's crazy. I really like this track. I'm adding this to my favorites, of course. I like it so much. I like the lyrical content. I like the production a lot, like a lot. I have no, like she has put me at a loss of words. I'm just trying to like, like get words and I'm like, bro, you have nothing. Just shut up and enjoy the music at this point. I didn't cry, so that's a plus. We're moving on to Lover Checkers album, which is I am not a woman, I am a god. Um, Halsey, calm down on the whole god complex. Like, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, 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 shake your titties. Somebody, somebody needs to go check out this girl. Why does she have so many bodies? And why is she always talking about it? Girl, if you need help, say so. Why do you have so much bodies? It's very scary. It's very, very scary, Halsey. I just want you to be okay. And this is very, do I need to call somebody? I'm not kidding, by the way. It's just very concerning. <laughs> So this track, I'm not a woman, I'm a god. I'm very interested in what she means lyrically. Right now, I'm kind of at the point where my brain is kind of really fried to come up with any answer to what she means. So please, whoever um, has an idea of what she's, please just explain to everybody down in the comment section or like give me an idea because I am fried right now. I'm really fried right now. I'm like really like stressed. Um, uh, about the track? I don't know how to feel about the track, which is weird. It's not a yes or a no for me. So with this track, I think it's gonna have to grow on me. I like the production. Will I listen to it again? Dun, dun, dun. You know what? No, I'm gonna listen to it again, so I'm just gonna add it to my favorites because I'm gonna listen. But, you know what? We're gonna let it simmer. We're gonna let it simmer and we're gonna see over time. It's kind of one of those, we're gonna let it simmer. So I will not be adding to my favorite, but we're gonna let it, let it simmer. We're moving on to 12th and the second last song of this album, which is The Lighthouse. The transition is very scary. It's very scary. I didn't know how, I was so scared. I was genuinely scared. God damn, that was actually really scary for me. Ah! Uh. So Halsey's out here murdering men. We love that. <laughs> That's controversial. Um, I'll leave it at that. Okay, um, we seriously need to unpack this. Halsey, why do you feel the need to always murder people? You're all your shrunks are about murder. 
and bodies. It's kind of worrying to me. Like, I'm not trying to sound like a douche or a dick, but like, she talks about murder quite a fucking lot. Like, I can't be the only one who's like, bro, <laughs> she's talking about murder. I don't mind her taking sailors to the sea or whatever and murdering them, honestly. I mean, if I just respect an educated murderer. I will say I like this. I'm adding this to my favorites. I like the way it sounds, honestly. I love the bass in this. I love the bass in this. We're on to the 13th track of this album. I cannot fucking pronounce it. I will butcher the fuck out of this. Ya abu me. Ya abu me. We're on to the ya abu me. I, I am so sorry. I butchered that and I'm sorry. I love you more in morning. Oh, I love you more in I love you more in the morning or I love you more at night. Could that mean um, in the night when they're drunk, intoxicated and more fun and in the morning when you know they're getting more sober and getting more back to their senses? You will bury me before I bury Again with the murder. God damn. This face is God, that was an experience. I am petrified of this video. So that is that is the end of the album. Wow, fuck. Oh, of course, I will be adding some of my favorites, of course. Um, she's talking about, I think, being in a relationship with her husband, and you know, she says, wrap me in a wedding ring. So I think that assumes that I'm related to her wanting to take the next step and be with this person for a long time. So it's kind of like a love letter um, for, you know, like kind of like the vow, sort of like till forever, you know. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy. Weirdly, you would expect me to be kind of like sad after listening to that, but it's kind of just like, you know, if she could find love, you know, then maybe love exists. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Where is nightmare? Where is nightmare? Cause that song was it. Why wasn't, it better be on the fucking deluxe. It better be in the deluxe Halsey. Anyway, other than that, congrats on this Halsey. I'm really proud of you, you've come so far. Not only just that, saying that, you know, like congrats, but like this is a fucking lazy piece of work. There's some really sad songs, but like I think what makes this album really great for me is because it kind of got me um like thinking, being like, um, in fact, there's like a lot of things wrong and stuff like you need to like, just like, Work on, but it kind of also taught me, you know, patience and understanding. I mean, it's easier saying that you understand stuff and like you're gonna be patient, but it's harder to actually do it. So this is my ranking of the album, which ones I like from my like top to the bottom. I don't think there is a bad song. Each song on this album kind of just needed time. It wasn't bad at all. Explain to me and being like, oh, this, this, like I'm saying, like a therapist. It was kind of like I had my own therapy session, you know. I cried, I laughed, I jumped, I screamed. I like that, you know, very much. I'm sorry about this reaction. I'm not the most um, fun or like funniest. I've been, I'm not like, oh, jumping and like doing like um, crazy stuff. But like, I don't know, like, I don't know. What you guys thought about the album? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, tell me though in the comment section what did you think of the album what were your three or five or even just your own ranking of the album what would you rank it and um, thank you for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe we're about to hit 800 which is so weird yeah I'll see you on our next video which as usual will be soon. oh how can I forget don't forget to stream outside link in the bio and I think Have Mercy is coming out I will not be reacting to the music video I, I don't know we'll see but like it will be in the link in the bio in my bio what the fuck into my description Ugh.